Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's argument that security concerns prevent them from visiting the royal family in the UK has been torn down by a former royal protection officer. Prince Harry, 37, is embroiled in a high court battle against the Home Office over the provision of Met Police protection for the Sussexes and their two children, Archie and Lilibet, should they touch down in the UK. The family missed the London memorial service for Prince Harry's grandfather last month as the row rumbles on, but the Duke and Duchess will attend an event in the Netherlands despite questions over security. Di Davis, ex-head of Royal Protection for Scotland Yard, said the UK would be far safer than most other places for the Duke and Duchess. He dismissed the idea that Prince Harry and his family cannot travel to the UK because of safety fears as sheer unadulterated nonsense. He said, he would get the same risk assessment as every other royal. Most of them now don't get full-time protection or even half-time protection, so the truth is the UK is far safer than most other places. And with great respect, Harry is not an expert in security. Earlier this week, a spokesperson for the Duke and Duchess confirmed Meghan would join Harry for a part of his visit to the Netherlands for the Invictus Games, of which he is a patron. The Games, celebrating the achievements of injured servicemen and women through sport, are now in their fifth year following a delay from 2020 due to the Covid pandemic. On the trip to the Netherlands, he commented to the Daily Mail, the truth is I have no doubt that he will be protected, whether he takes his own team or whether the Dutch authorities give him some kind of VIP status. The truth is if there's a risk both countries, ours and the Netherlands, have sophisticated systems of determining risk. This country has determined he is no longer at risk. The couple's security arrangements are still not fully known, and Dutch authorities have said any close protection officers for the Duke and Duchess cannot be armed, according to The Sun. Anna Sophia Posthumus, a police spokeswoman, said, in the Netherlands, only government officials, police, military personnel etc., are allowed to carry weapons. This would exclude private guards, like those on Meghan and Harry's payroll. Monique Blocks, Dutch royal biographer and assistant editor at Royal Central, contended that the Duke and Duchess had hoped to hitch a ride for armed security tasked with protecting the Queen's relative, King Willem Alexander. She said, since members of the Dutch royal family will be attending both the opening and closing ceremony, they might be able to hitch a ride with them on those days. However, with the Duke and Duchess visiting the country in a private capacity, this may not be the case, she added. This comes as the Duke continues his dispute with the Home Office after Prince Harry was told he would not receive the same degree of security when coming back from the US. But Prince Harry insisted he does not feel safe bringing his and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex's, two children to the UK without the protection he seeks from UK police. He has offered to foot the bill for the protection himself. The decision to travel to the continent rather than the UK prompted a wave of backlash against the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who are yet to introduce youngest child Lilibet to most of the royal family in the UK. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have yet to return to the UK together. The Duke of Sussex returned home in April and July. The Duchess of Sussex, on the other hand, has yet to set foot in the country again since Megxit in 2020. But